Just be affectionate. Permission to put my hand on your buttock. Granted. I didn't do it right. Not in circles, it's not a magic lamp. Have you ever watched a movie and felt sorry for the real life partners of the actors because the on-screen couple just looks so right? Well, that's how I felt while watching Sidney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. Good day, good day, good people. It's your boy, Mr. E, with my review of the romantic comedy, Anyone But You. Are they doing Titanic? Oh. Yes. Are they watching? Yep. Now, rom-coms tend to follow the same formula, and this one is no different. So even though I'm not giving you any spoilers, there won't really be any surprises when you watch this. I could never be with someone like him. This girl's a disaster. Stop! Those two are gonna ruin our wedding. The story is a standard boy meets girl. First they like, then they fall out, then get together. As I said, no surprises. Now Sydney plays B. Her sister Haley is getting married to Claudia, who happens to be best friends with Ben, played by Glenn Powell. Now following a misunderstanding after their one night together, Ben and B can't stand each other, but pretend to be a couple to keep up appearances and keep the peace at the wedding. Head of the wedding. Of my sister? Yes, I am. Where's your fiance? Wait, is this him? Wow, you are a child. Hey, I'm Ben. I was her hall pass on your break. Now what makes a film in this genre is the chemistry between the leads, and there's plenty here. Add to that quirky in-laws, crazy exes showing up, and the beautiful sights, sounds, and beaches of Australia, and you have the foundations of a modern rom-com classic that's made for an adult audience, but doesn't try too hard to be edgy or raunchy. Anyone but you is out now, and well worth your time if you're a fan of the genre. Wait, I feel something. What the? What the? What the? Where are they? What the? One might be in you. I'm good. It's probably a better way to check than what I did. Is it 